resurrection day The past is over and gone Goodbye guilt, goodbye fear, good riddance Hello Lord, hello son I am one of the Easter people My new life has begun Every morning is Easter morning from now on Every day is resurrection Like all of the news is bad, the good news seldom gets heard. Get it straight from the Easter people, God's in charge, spread the word. Every morning is Easter morning from now on. Every day is resurrection. was bored and lonely, but today look and see, I am one of the Easter people, life's exciting to me, every morning is Easter morning from now on, every day is resurrection day, the past is over and gone, every day is Easter morning. The Lord is risen. He is, he is risen, risen indeed. indeed. Good morning and welcome to our Easter sunrise service here in front of this beautiful cross. Uh, I want to say a, a word of thanks to the folks who made this possible again this year. Gay Cattell, this has been a labor of love for her for so many years and uh, we give thanks for all the people who made this possible. Gay and, and Joy and Daryl Schwartz, Meredith Watson uh, and uh, also Marie Sharp and all the people who brought flowers either from the grocery store or from their gardens. Uh, we are grateful that we can have this beautiful symbol of life and hope on this Easter morning. Would you join me as we pray together? Almighty God, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, we gather early on this glad resurrection morning, and we praise you for the gift of new life in Christ. We thank you for your victory over sin and death, Teach us anew how we are to walk confidently as your Easter people. In the name of our resurrected Lord, Jesus the Christ. Amen. Our reading this morning comes from the Gospel of John, chapter 20, verses 1 through 18. Early on the first day of the week, while it was still dark, Mary Magdalene came to the tomb and saw that the stone had been removed from the tomb. So she ran and went to Simon Peter and the other disciple, the one whom Jesus loved, and said to them, They have taken the Lord out of the tomb, and we do not know where they have laid him. Then Peter and the other disciple set out and went toward the tomb. The two were running together, but the other disciple outran Peter and reached the tomb first. He bent down to look in and saw the linen wrappings lying there, but he did not go in. Then Simon Peter came, following him, and went into the tomb. He saw the linen wrappings lying there and the cloth that had been on Jesus' head, not lying with the linen wrappings, but rolled up in a place by itself. Then the other disciple, who reached the tomb first, also went in, and he saw and believed, for as yet they did not understand the scripture that he must rise from the dead. Then the disciples returned to their homes. But Mary stood weeping outside the tomb. As she wept, she bent over to look into the tomb, and she saw two angels in white sitting where the body of Jesus had been lying, one at the head and the other at the feet. They said to her, Woman, why are you weeping? She said to them, They have taken away my Lord, and I do not know where they have laid him. When she had said this, she turned around and saw Jesus standing there, but she did not know that it was Jesus. Jesus said to her, Woman, why are you weeping? Whom are you looking for? Supposing him to be the gardener, she said to him, Sir, if you have carried him away, tell me where you have laid him, and I will take him away. Jesus said to her, Mary. 
she turned and said to him in Hebrew, Rabboni, which means teacher. Jesus said to her, do not hold on to me because I have not yet ascended to the father, but go to my brothers and say to them, I am ascending to my father and your father, to my God and your God. Mary Magdalene went and announced to the disciples, I have seen the Lord. And she told them that he had said these things to her. The word of God for the people of God. Thanks, Thanks be, to God. be to God. Then came the dawn. Come, child, listen, lean forward, lend an ear. Tis the greatest story ever told, whether far or near. The story of a carpenter who walked long dusty roads, healing weary travelers and lifting heavy loads. He cured the sick, healed the lame, and made the blind to see. He said he came for captives to set the prisoners free. <clears throat> but the powerful and mighty were threatened by his life. Convicted by the truth he told, they stirred up hate and strife. And thinking they could stop his reign, they hung him on a tree. And he died a cruel and painful death for all the world to see. And those with good and gracious hearts wept tears of grief and pain, for it seemed as if the darkness forevermore would reign. While in the tomb love rested without a twitch or sound, and death rejoiced in victory and bought another round, Defeat, darkness, silence, stillness for three long days. Then came the dawn. Suddenly the earth, it shook, and heaven gave a shout, and hell and death fell prostrate as the carpenter walked out. For in God's love incarnate, God's kingdom now decreed that Christ the Lord is risen. He is risen, yes, indeed. We are so glad that you're able to join us this morning for our virtual sunrise service again in front of this beautiful cross as we celebrate the day of resurrection. My goodness, don't we need to celebrate Easter in 2020? And we are so grateful to have this opportunity to be with you today. We do come and we celebrate life. We celebrate victory over the grave. We celebrate God's amazing work through Jesus Christ, the empty tomb and the risen Lord. And so today, we simply lift up this joyous news, and we invite you to celebrate with us. The Lord is risen. He is risen indeed. Thanks be to God. In the name of the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Amen.
joyfully this morning. I want to thank you for joining us for our virtual sunrise service this morning. I would remind you at 10 o'clock this morning we will have our uh, Sunday Easter worship service in the sanctuary and hope that you'll be able to join us for that. But we are so grateful that the weather permitted us to come and, and have this service today in front of this beautiful cross. Would you receive now this word of blessing and benediction? May the peace of our crucified and resurrected Lord be with you this day and forever, filling you with the joy and hope of Easter. Amen. The Lord is risen. He is, he is risen, risen indeed. indeed. Go in peace.